Hey guys, welcome back once again. In today's session, we're going to discuss about chapter number two, that is probability and standard deviation. So this is a part of MSAT Achieve Math Test Statistics. I have already uploaded the new videos on the first chapter, that is data types and percentages. If you have not gone through it, please follow the link given in the description box below and you can watch it. And also share subscribe to my channel so that whenever i upload a new videos you will be notified so let's start with the first question here of probability that is the probability that the muhammad will watch the match on tv is 0.7 and the probability that his team wins is 0.5 what is the probability that muhammad will not watch the match and his team wins the match now, probability of watching the uh, TV is 0 0.7, then probability of not watching the TV, what will be that? That is going to be 0 0.3 or which can also say 1 minus 0 0.7, which gives us 0 0.3. Probability of not watching is 0 0.3 and probability of winning that is going to be 0 0.5 and these are independent event. Whether the match wins or lose is not depending on the Muhammad watching it or not. So these two tasks are independent. So usually say for the independent event to get the probability, you just need to multiply it. So that is probability of not watch is 0 0.3. Multiply with probability of winning the match is going to be 0 0.5. Multiply them together, you'll be getting it as 0 0.15. That is option number D. Question number two here is, Majid can either win or lose when he playing a game. The probability that the Majid wins a game against any one of his friends is 3 by 4. So probability of winning the game is 3 by 4. What is the probability that the Majid wins exactly 2 out of next 3 games? So this is a combination of independent and dependent event. So there is a certain formula to answer to such questions. So the probability of winning the game is 3 by 4. I also need to know what is the probability of not winning the game. Always to find the opposite, which is not winning. Always I have to do 1 minus the probability of winning the game. That is 1 minus 3 by 4. What are you going to get? It's going to be... 1 by 4. This is the chance of not winning the game. Now, he says the Majid wins exactly 2 matches out of next 3. So, the value of R here is going to be 2 and the value of the total number of times the game played is going to be 3. R and N, I am using that as per the formula. Okay, There is a formula to answer such question. What it is? See, probability of uh, the combination of independent and the dependent event is P is equals to N C R times P to the power R times 1 minus P to the power N minus R. This is the formula and which will not be given in exam, but they commonly ask you question based on this. Here, I need to substitute the values. So, N is what? 3 combination of r value is 2 here times probability of winning the match is 3 4 to the power 2 times probability of not winning the match which is 1 by 4 to the power 3 minus 2 which is 1 by the way just substituting the calculator where do we get that combination just by using a calculator i'll typing it as 3 shift Division sign, you can see that above it, it has written NCR. So I'm using this one. R value here, it is 2 times. What is the combination? I mean, this is about the combination. Then probability of winning is going to be 3 by 4 to the power 2 times. Probability of not winning is 1 by 4 to the power 1 or I can say that itself it is equivalent to 0 0.140 or in fraction we are getting it as 9 by 64 this is 9 divided by 64 is the probability of this overall which I go with option C so you have to remember this formula to answer such question this is a combination of independent and mutually exclusive events 
let's work on question number three here if the probability that it will rain sometime on monday is one third and independent uh, probability that it will rain sometimes on tuesday is one by two now what is the probability that it will rain on both days raining on monday and raining on tuesday are independent event and whenever i'm saying independent you just need to multiply let's take probability of raining on monday it's gonna be one third probability of raining on tuesday it's gonna be half now what is the probability that it will rain on both days it's gonna be probability of monday times the probability of tuesday whenever there are independent event just multiply that is one third times one by two we get a probability as one by six which is option a one by six is the probability of happening this task let's work on question number four here a math class has one girl and four boys in a seventh grade and four girls and four boys in eighth grade the teacher randomly selects a seventh and eighth grade from the class for a competition what is the probability that the students he selects are both boys now what is the probability of boys indirectly now if you look at in the uh, probability of the grade 7 probability of grade 7 how many students are boys there are four boys and one girl probability of selecting from the grade 7 is gonna be four out of total five students similarly probability of selecting boys from the grade 8 how many are there in the eighth grade there are four boys and four girls the probability of boys here will be four out of eight which is same as one by two now question is what is the probability that the students he selects are both boys so probability of seven grade seven times the probability of grade eight because it's an independent event selecting from the grade seven and the grade eight are independent so we should multiply their probabilities that is same as four by five times one by two so which we are getting it as of eight divided by ten which is same as uh, sorry four divided by ten which is same as two by five as they say question says put your answer in the simplest form your answer should be two by five is the right choice here that's it for the today's session i'll be coming soon with the next video please do like share and subscribe so that you will be notified whenever i upload a new videos all right thank you so much see you soon